Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these delicious Samoa whoopie pies. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine all our dry ingredients in a bowl. I have all-purpose flour, dark cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. And I'm just going to whisk that until it's thoroughly mixed. Next we're going to add our wet ingredients in a separate bowl. We're going to add our buttermilk, our sugar, our vegetable oil, vanilla, and one egg. And we're just going to mix that a little bit just until it's thoroughly combined. Next we're going to take our flour mixture and we're going to add this to our wet ingredients. We're going to add a little bit at a time and we're going to mix it through. So I started to mix the batter with a spatula at first but then I realized that it's going to be a lot easier for me to mix this with a whisk because you do want this batter to be extremely smooth. You don't want any lumps of flour or cocoa powder or anything like that. So make sure that you're mixing this really really well. So at this point your batter becomes super thick so you can use a spatula to mix it through. But once your cake batter is done, we're going to use an ice cream scoop to scoop these onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a silk pad, whatever you guys have on hand. So make sure when you're scooping these that you're spacing them about 2 inches apart because they are going to spread just a little bit. Next we're going to bake these in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. So next we're going to make our salted caramel buttercream. So I have here a small pot with a little bit of water and in a separate bowl I'm going to add my sugar and my egg whites. Now we're going to cook this in a double boiler so we're going to mix this through just a little bit and then we're going to cook this until the sugar has completely dissolved. So we're going to continuously whisk this until it almost turns white and a good way to check if the sugar has completely dissolved is you're going to rub it between your fingers and once that's done we're going to move on to our mixer and we're going to start mixing this until it becomes nice and fluffy. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our Swiss meringue to a separate bowl. Now the reason for this is because we want our Swiss meringue to be super cold before we add our room temperature butter. So this is going to eliminate the chances of your buttercream from breaking. So next we're going to start creaming our butter for about 5 to 7 minutes or until it turns completely white. So now you can add your cooled Swiss meringue to your creamed butter. You're going to mix this for about 5 to 8 minutes just until it's nice and fluffy. So next I'm going to add my salted caramel to my buttercream. If you guys are interested in knowing how I made this salted caramel, you guys can check out my salted caramel banana bread video. I'll link it down below. So once everything is ready to go, you're ready to fill your whoopie pies. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start piping my salted caramel buttercream onto the bottom half of my whoopie pie. And I'm using a star tip here and I'm just going in a spiral just to get enough filling onto my whoopie pies. Next I'm going to add my chocolate ganache right on top of my salted caramel buttercream. If you guys are interested in knowing how I made this chocolate ganache, I'm going to link my chocolate cake video down below. So next I'm going to drizzle some of my salted caramel right on top 
And then I'm just going to finish this off with a little bit of toasted coconut. So at this point the wobi pies are done but I just wanted to add a little bit of something on top of the wobi pie so I just added a little bit of my chocolate ganache and drizzled a little bit of salted caramel and just did the same thing I did to the bottom half and added a little bit of toasted coconut. So these Samoa whoopie pies were absolutely delicious. They were so, so good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.